everyone, welcome back to OISC's Kitchen. Tonight we're going to be cooking spaghetti and meatballs. Um, there are a couple different ways you can do this recipe, so we're gonna show you one, but we'll also explain um, how you can also fry your meatballs instead of bake them if you choose. Let's get started. To start this recipe, we're going to combine everything to make our meatballs in one bowl. So we will start with the ground beef and we're gonna add one third of a cup of breadcrumbs, a quarter cup of Parmesan cheese, one egg, two cloves of garlic minced. You can either chop them up very finely or if you use pre-minced, it's about two teaspoons. Half a teaspoon of red pepper flakes, one onion diced, and then just a little bit of salt and pepper to taste. So really as much as you want, depending on how much salt you like and how much pepper you like. You don't have to put them in at all if you don't really want to. And we're gonna combine everything in a bowl. Uh, the easiest way to do this would be actually to use your hands and just squish it all together and mix it. If you really don't wanna put your hands in the meat or are concerned about touching raw meat, you can use a spatula or even a potato masher if you have one on hand, anything like that will work. You wanna keep going until everything is thoroughly combined and you can't really see separate ingredients with the exception of the onion, you'll see like pieces of onion. Everything else should basically disappear and all look like one. Once you get to that point, you're going to start forming your meatballs. To do this, you just wanna take a small amount and roll it in your hands like you would a ball of Play-Doh. And you're just gonna keep going like this until all the mixture is gone. This recipe says it should make about 16. This will depend on the size of your family and how much supplies you are given. You wanna do your best to keep these similar in size. They don't have to be exactly the same size, but just do your best because you want them to cook evenly. Also, as a side note, you don't actually have to use ground beef for this recipe. If you're making this on your own and happen to have ground chicken or ground pork or really any ground meat, it will all work the same. It may just look slightly different because some meats are pinker than others. If you're baking your meatballs, you wanna put them in the oven that's been preheated to 400 degrees for about 20 to 25 minutes. If you choose to fry these, uh, you're just gonna take a frying pan, you're going to add about two tablespoons of oil, and you're gonna turn your heat to about medium high. And we're gonna give the oil a couple seconds to heat up before we put our meatballs in. Once you have heated your pan up, you're gonna add your meatballs and you just want to uh, use some tongs or a spatula and you want to turn them while you're cooking them so that they don't burn on one side. If you choose to go for frying them, you may want to chill them in the fridge for about an hour just so that they hold together better. Otherwise, they may crumble in the pan a little bit. You want to keep turning them regularly until all of them turn a golden brown color. Once all your meatballs are a golden brown color on the outside, we're gonna take them off the heat and set them aside for now. And we're gonna start the sauce at this point. To start our sauce, we're gonna saute a diced onion in our pan until it's soft. The easiest way with onions to know if they're soft or done is they will turn from more of a solid to more of a like translucent or see-through color and look a little almost slimy because of how they cook. Once your onions are done cooking, we're gonna add crushed tomatoes, a bay leaf, and salt and pepper. We're gonna bring it to a slow boil once you've brought it to a boil, you're gonna turn the stove down a little bit and you're gonna let it simmer for about 20 minutes. Once you've let your sauce simmer for about 20 minutes, you wanna add the cooked meatballs into the sauce 
And then from there, you're gonna let it simmer for another 10 minutes. Once you're done simmering your sauce with the meatballs, the final step is to just add it on top of some cooked pasta. You can either cook that pasta while your uh, sauce is simmering for that 10 minutes, or if you really choose, you can cook the pasta once everything is done. And then we just serve it on a plate with the sauce on top. Hope you enjoyed cooking with us. And as always, if you need any help or have any struggles, just give us a call. We will be more than happy to help you. So that's how you cook spaghetti and meatballs and we will see you next time.